will your Glock fire underwater without maritime spring cups? So this is the firing pin, spring, and spring cups. These are the cups. They fit pretty tightly inside the firing pin channel. They act like a plunger, a piston in a cylinder, and when the firing pin channel floods with water, it slow down the firing pin, preventing reliable ignition of a primer. But do we really need the maritime spring cups to shoot a Glock underwater, or will it work without them? So as you can see, just the act of chambering another round is enough to clear that firing pin channel out so that it can fire again. But if I attempt to fire again, when I'm underwater, nothing happens. All right, we're going to try with just the muzzle in the water, so the firing pin channel should stay out of the water. Should, shouldn't slow down the firing pin too much. So you can see that I got lucky there and got a few rounds to fire in a row. But for the most part, you put it underwater, you can fire one round if you shoot immediately. Even on the one that I waited for a few seconds, you could fire one round, but as soon as you squeeze the trigger again, you get nothing but a click. Now none of the ammunition went bad. I fired 46 rounds, it's two magazines and a pocket full of ammo basically. I started with brand new ammo that had hadn't been wet at all, uh, cellular and below, and ran all of that through. Uh, I also fired a few rounds of Gold Dot, a few rounds of EFMJ, mostly cellular and below. Um, and I fired ammunition that had been in my pocket that whole weekend in and out of the river. So I guess the answer to will your Glock fire underwater without the maritime spring cups, yeah, once, probably. I guess don't get in fights in swimming pools. <laughs>